What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Here, What's up, everybody? <laughs> here for the 12 days of Wolfmas. It's day three. We're up 650 bucks, and I brought my boy Jack in here from Next Gen Poker. Yes, and sir. He's gonna help get that number a little higher. He's gonna punt into me, so I can give that to you guys, right, Jack? Back home from Chicago for yeah. Thanksgiving, ready to give it he's back. He's playing that Texas poker in <laughs> yeah. Chicago. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. As always, you guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys want a share of that money, I'm gonna try to make three grand for you guys by the end of Christmas. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the button and go check out Jack too. Go check it out. Let's go. Chicago's been good to us so far. We're back at Rockford Charitables into the 1-2 game for $300. It may be getting freezing outside here in Chicago, but we're running hot on the tables. The first hand of the night, we look down at the beautiful king-queen offsuit from the button. Early position raises it up to $10. There's one call from the hijack, so I decide to bump it up a little bit north. I want to play for some more money, and I declare $40 is the price of poker, to which early position and the hijack both find a call. Yes, we are three ways in position to a flop. Around 120 in the middle, and the flop comes ace-king four with two clubs. When the action checks to me, I think this is a pretty good board to go for a c-bet on. I'm going to have all the ace-king, ace-queen, and also pocket aces and pocket kings. So I decided to bet out for a fourth of the pot for $40. Under the gun plus two raises me now. He goes for the check craze to 125. I don't appreciate that one bit. The hijack gets out of the way and the action's back over to me. And even though I don't appreciate his raise, I'm not going to punish him here. It's likely he just has an ace and is trying to protect his hand against a wide variety of hands. Such as mine, like King Queen that has some equity. He's trying to thin out the field. He gets the job done. I fold my hands and uh, he's going to take down that $300 pot. After topping up $100, we look down at the bullets from the hijack. Under the gun opens it up to $15, and of course I 3-bet him to $45, to which he says yes, we're going to see a flop. He puts in the call, and that leads us to a flop heads up in position, which comes queen high. Queen 6-5 to be specific, and he checks it over to me in flow. Going to go for a one-third pot size bet of $35. And the opponent pretty quickly puts in the call, bringing in the 10 of clubs on the turn. When he checks it over to me for a second time, when I look over at his stack, he has me covered. That means we're playing around $160 to $170 effective. That's the amount that's in my stack. If you look at the size of the pot, it's $163. So there's no point in me really going for an $80 bet here and then betting another like 80 on the river. I might as well just put it all in here on the turn. It also makes a lot of sense because if I had a draw like King Jack, Jack 9, or any two diamonds in my hand, I'd want to put maximum pressure on the opponent now. So for that reason, I want to also do that with my strong hands like pocket aces, and I decide to rip it all in for $167. He doesn't think too long and he puts in the call. We agree on running it twice. So we're going to see two rivers in this $500 pot. He ends up turning over king-queen offsuit. So we have him in rough shape. No king, no queen on the river dealer and we'll win this $500 pot. First board comes clean for us. It's a diamond. And second board is another four. That's no good for under the gun plus two. But that's great news for us and for you guys. I'm taking down that $500 pot. Make sure you guys subscribe to win some of this money. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Jack, how can they how can they win a piece of that money? Subscribe. <laughs> Bang! Bang! <laughs> Subscribe to Wolfie. <laughs> After shipping that nice $500 pot, we end up playing a $10 PLO double board bomb pot, and we look down at Ace Queen 10 5 double suited. The flops come pretty great for us, I'd like to say. Queen Queen 6 giving us three of a kind with an ace kicker. And the second board comes 10 7 3 with two clubs, giving us the nut flush draw and top pair. When the action checks over to me, I want to build the size of the pot now. I decide to bet out for $35, and the reasoning is I don't want to go too large. I have a good hand on both boards, so I want to bring in some players. That's how you make money in these PLO bomb pots. You make a good hand, you bet, and you get called in a few streets, and even if you chop it on one board against another player, you're chopping up the third player's money. In the long run, that's going to make you some money. So when I bet out for $35 and we get two callers, it's already a recipe for success, and we're going to see the turn card on both boards. The turn comes a 5 of spades on top, giving me a boat. I have queen 5, and on the bottom it comes the 8 of diamonds, which doesn't improve me in the slightest. The action checks over to me once again, and now that I have a boat on top to go with my nut flush draw on bottom, 
I decided to bet out for $75 into the $200 pot, and I wouldn't mind getting called in both spots. We're only losing to queen six on the top. That's a good situation to be in. So when I bet out for $75, we get called by one player, and the other player in middle position decides to pot it for $345. Obviously, I'm going nowhere. I decide to repot and jam for $455. And the player in middle position pretty quickly calls. You wouldn't expect him to pot it and then fold for like another 100 bucks. Either way, we're off to the river in the biggest hand of the night, $1,180 in the middle. Let's see what the river card brings in. Top board comes the four of hearts, and the bottom board does not come a club. We would have scooped against ace-jack-9-6 with diamonds. He turned the straight on the bottom, and on the top, he had the nut flush draw, which is pretty great for him. Either way, though, we are chopping down that $1,180 pot, and we're going to make some profit in that hand. Sorry, bro. This is for the hand I beat you. <laughs> it's a badge of honor. You have to represent it well. <laughs> Alright you guys, this one is a fun one. With 550 in my stack, I look down at King Queen and I decide to 3-bet Yuri on my right. Yes, Yuri, you haven't met him yet in the video, but I promise he's a hilarious dude. He raises it up to $10 and of course I'm going to 3-bet him in position with a wide range. Just, uh, just so happens that I have King Queen offsuit and he decides to put in the call. He wants to battle and make the vlog. That means we are heads up to a flop, which comes queen, queen, three, bang, we flop three of a kind. Yuri wisely checks it over to me. I don't want to scare him out of the pot, so I decide to bet a six of the pot for $10. Yuri says that's not large enough to get me to fold. He puts in the call, bringing in the five of hearts. When he checks it over to me for a second time, got to start piling in some more money. I decide to bet out for $35, and he's going absolutely nowhere when he puts in the money, bringing in the deuce of hearts on the river. Yuri checks it over to me for a third time. At this point, he might have a worse queen. He might have a pocket pair that he's getting sticky with, like 7s through 10s. So I'm going to size up now and bet out for $115. He's going to have to pay me off with both those type of hands. If he has a draw, like a club draw, he's just going to fold for any price. So I really like sizing up on this river. And after some thinking, he decides to put in the call. I turn over my hand and he shows pocket 10. So yeah, one of the best hands he could have there that wasn't a queen that could still call. Either way, I'm going to ship that $400 pot. And uh, Yuri, ship those chips over to me, sir. Real quickly, you guys, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I also have another big announcement. I came up with my own training course. Yes, you got that right. I partnered up with Overnight Monster and my coach, Alvin, and we made a very affordable training courses. None of these $500 to $1,000 courses. I kind of wanted to make it as like a thank you to all my subscribers. So we priced it at $50 for the pre-order. And after Christmas, when it releases, it's going to be $69. Yep, you got that right. But there's no jokes. There's a lot of really good information inside i honestly can't believe alvin agreed to do it with me there's a ton of hours of alvin's tricks that will immediately improve your win rate and it's packaged in fun lessons told in plain english not any of this uh confusing gto stuff so yeah and i also do a q a with alvin based on my instagram followers questions we also go over some of my vlogs and he dissects and finds a lot of spots that i could have played better so yeah, for $50, the pre-order price up until Christmas, go check it out. Link is in the bio. After Christmas, it'll be $69. But of course, because it's a giveaway here, the 12 Days of Wolfmas, I'm going to also be giving away a few subscriptions to this course for free for you guys. So yeah, purchase it now at the $50 price. Or if you get lucky and win one of the free courses, I'll credit you back that $50. So yeah, go check it out in the link in the bio. Let's get back into the hands. 675 in my stack, I'm in under the gun and I raise it up to 15 with the Cowboys. We're going to get three callers, so good action here at Rockford Charitables. That means we are four ways to a flop, which is not favorable. It comes ace-9-3 with two spades. The action checks over to the cutoff and he bets out for $25 into the $50 pot. And of course, both of us put in the call. I can't be check folding pocket kings just to one over card. So I'm going to call here and see what the turn card brings in. The turn comes the five of diamonds really shouldn't change too much. He probably has an ace at this point when we check it over to the cutoff and he bets out for $100. Pretty much letting the table know he has some random sort of ace. Or if he's bluffing, it has to be the spade flush draw. I could call here for another $100. It's unlikely he's going to slow down on the river if the spades break off and put us in a really tough spot to basically call him down with second pair. 
For that reason, and also because I want to make you guys the most amount of money, I decide to fold for a hundred bucks. And unfortunately, he doesn't show, so I guess we'll never know what he had. Three more hands to go, and they're very interesting. I look down at King Queen suited from the button. Yuri in the cutoff raises it up to ten dollars, and I decide to three bet him to thirty-five. We're gonna get three callers, one of which is Yuri on my right. That means we are four ways to a flop. Four ways to the flop with 140 in it, and it comes all clubs. Eight, four, deuce, bang, we flop the flush. How does that happen? Yuri raises, I three bet, we get three callers, and I just flop essentially the nuts unless someone else has like ace five of clubs. Very, very unlikely though. So when the action checks to me, I wanna put some money in and target pocket fours, pocket deuces, three, five, six, seven, eight, seven. A lot of those hands that can call me here for a small bet. So I bet out for $50, but uh, there's three players in the hand. Only one of them puts in the call, the small blind. So yeah, not exactly sure what he has, but it could be any sort of hands that I just mentioned. When he puts in the call and the pot balloons up to $240, and the ace of hearts peels off on the turn, it's actually a pretty great card. For instance, a hand he could have that I didn't mention is a hand like ace-10 with the ace of clubs, ace-jack with the ace of clubs. So you get the point. So now this ace of hearts on the turn improves him a lot of the time to top pair. When he checks it over to me, I look at the size of his stack, and he has around 250 left. There's 240 in the pot, so a quick tip, you guys. You've seen already, this is the second time that I've mentioned this. You gotta look at your stack size, and then you gotta look at the opponent's stack size. And the stack to pot ratio is huge. So here you see there's 240, he has 250. It's basically one to one, so basically I should be shoving all in here if I wanna make a bet. Betting small here, he's pretty much committed the way it is, so if I have any bluffs in my range, I should just be shoving them all in here, as well as my value hands like the king high flush. For that reason, and because it's likely he hit this ace with the ace of clubs, I decide to jam all in for $250, and he doesn't waste any time before putting in the call. Look at that, a $750 pot here at 1-2, and we decide to run it twice for uh, not maximum pain, for maximum fun. He does in fact show ace-queen offsuit with the ace of clubs, so he made top pair, he has the nut flush draw. Come on dealer, we need to see two non-club cards on the river. The first board comes clean and the second board gives him trips, but last time I checked, trips do not beat a flop flush. And just like that, 750 more chips coming my way. Make sure to drop a subscribe and a comment why you should win the money because you know I'm booking a fat W in this session. All right, two hands ago, we're playing another double board PLO bomb pot. This time it's five ways. I look down at pocket aces and then I have a suited ace to the spade variety. The first board comes jack eight four, giving us an over pair. And the second board comes jack 10 three, all spades. Bang! We flop the spade flush. How does this keep happening? We're flopping flushes left and right. The action checks over to me and I'm gonna bet out for $30, just looking to build the size of the pot. We have an over pair on top, which uh, could be good, although we can't really discount jack eight, jack four, and eight four, but on the bottom, we have the board absolutely locked up with the nut flush. When I bet out for $30, we're gonna get called in three spots. Definitely a position that I like being in. We got position, we got the nut flush on the bottom, an over pair, and we got three other players putting in the call. There's 170 in the pot, and the turn comes the queen of clubs on top, and the bottom comes the deuce of spades, putting a fourth spade out there. The action checks over to me, and I bet out for $100. Now that we connected with the queen of clubs on top, we actually have two pair, queens and fours on the bottom. We still have that nut flush. So I like my $100 bet here, and Jack likes my bet too, but he wants to play for more. $250, he jams all in. When the action comes back around to me, you can see Yuri on my right, he puts in the fold. What a nit. I put in the call for $150 more, and we are off to a river. River comes the eight of clubs and the six of diamonds. Doesn't improve me, I still have two pair, and I have the nut flush on bottom. Jack turns over, jack 10, nine, nine, so he did in fact have two pair on the board that I had the flush, I'm gonna win that one, but he does have a straight on the top board, and we're gonna chop up that $670 pot, which feels pretty good, honestly, and that moves us into the last hand of the night. We're gonna battle with jack once again. I'm on the button with ace 10 offsuit, and I'd raise it up to $20. Jack's in the small blind, he wants to make the vlog, and he three bets me to $60. Not gonna be four betting, although he is pretty short stack, I think he has around $90 left in his stack. I decide to put in the additional $40 and see what the flop brings in, and it comes 964 with two hearts. Jack just open rips it for $88 in the actions on me, and I go into the tank. Obviously I have ace high and uh, not really a great hand, 
But Jack is short stacked. I have the ace of hearts in my hand. and Potentially, I could back into a straight if it comes seven, eight on the turn and river. So to appease the fish in the game like Jack from next gen and also to have a fun time, I decide to put in the call. Let's see what the run out brings in. The turn card is a great card. It comes the deuce of hearts, giving me way more outs with my ace of hearts in the hand. And the river card comes the ace of clubs. So potentially we have the best hand now with a pair of aces. Pretty hard for him to suspect that I have that. And uh, he shakes his head, so I don't want to slow roll him. I turn over my pair of aces and he mucks. But it wasn't a slow roll because later on he told me he had pocket jacks. That little sneaky guy. I gotta bang him for the vlog, which I do, and it uh, can't lie, feels pretty great. Put it up here, just right across my forehead. People know. Bomb, 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 bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Wolfgang banged me. Bomb, bomb, bomb. That last hand in the books, we rack up our chips. It takes two racks to carry them over to the cage. That's a great sign. And we exchange our chips for some cold, hard cash. This is what we do, Jaxie. <laughs> This is this is innovative shit. This right is here. the the new poker vlog in What's the What's that thing on your chest? I got I got banged today. Oh, I, I call, banged him. I, I banged him. But you guys already know that you saw that. All right, you guys got into the game for three hundred. Added on for hundred. That's all I added on. Not bad. Wow, Cash out for twelve eighty eight. Profit of eight eighty eight. Bring the twelve days of Wolfmas all the way up to around fifteen hundred bucks. We're already halfway to our goal. I want to give three people a thousand bucks, and we're gonna do it. Let's go. I think I was in for like three bullets or something. Omaha bump pots That's door. irrelevant. You didn't film a vlog, so no one's going to know except <laughs> these 30,000 people. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you guys run as good as I did, not Jack, on the felt. As always, if you guys want to be eligible to win that money on Christmas Day, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, go check out Next Gen Poker. They're pretty cool. As always, good luck on the felt. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.